You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. An amazing thing happened. We all saw a unicorn yesterday. We saw the leprechaun at the end of the rainbow. Whatever other mythical creature that we only hear about in nursery rhymes or on television shows, fill in the blank. We got to talk to freshmen yesterday around LSU football. It is certainly a new day. Uh, and not just freshmen, but one of them was a freshman quarterback. Stunning. Uh, Walker Howard and Will Campbell were made available to the media on uh, on Tuesday. And it was pretty awesome to hear from these guys. Young guys who are both competent and confident, and guys that were the cornerstone of this recruiting class and are going to be massive building blocks to the successes LSU will certainly enjoy under Brian Kelly in the years to come. So I want you to hear some of the highlights of what these two guys had to say. I want to react to some of it. Um, Let's start with with Will Campbell because Will Campbell's um, opportunity here as a potential starter at left tackle is potentially transformative with this offensive line. So let's start with Campbell's decision to enroll early at LSU, to show up early and go through spring. You know, it's been great. I feel like it's it's a good experience. And for anyone that can do it, I really do suggest that it kind of, I feel like I'm ahead of where I would normally be, obviously, you know, just getting here, learning the system, learning how college football works and everything like that. Now, the biggest question for, we talk about it often, the biggest question for a lineman who shows up as a freshman is the physicality. Like You can see receivers and cornerbacks and running back skill position guys who are physically ready to make that transition, but the biggest difference is when you're 18 years old and you're a lineman and now you're, you're locking up with 20, 21, 22-year-old defensive linemen who've been in a strength and conditioning, college strength and conditioning program for two, three, four years how do you match the physicality? Here was Wills Campbell talking about just his physical development in the few months that he's been on campus. Uh, well, when I got here, I weighed 300 pounds. Right now, I'm sitting at like 317. So I've gained 17 pounds since I've been here. You know, Coach Flint and them, best strength coach staff in the country. And, you know, Coach Davis has, you know, taught me many of things that have helped me become the better player. And he teaches all of us that. And, you know, I'm really thankful for it. I want to come back to Brad Davis in a second. But um, I want to stay on that initial part. So show about a guy that showed up at 300 and is already up to 317 from, j from showing up here in January to middle of April. I mean, you're talking about three months. That was 12 weeks. Middle of January to middle of April. It's three months. Twelve. That's 12 weeks. It, that's incredible um, to have that much physical development already. Now, the big question is, how big do you want him to be? Right? I mean, he's 6'6". You could put a lot more weight on that frame. Do you want to? At what point is it too much weight? That's where they'll have to manage that. But uh, he did talk about, Will Campbell did talk about what's been the biggest adjustment for him going from high school to the college game here in the spring. I guess you could say going against guys like Ali Gay, Mason Smith, B.J. Ojolari. I mean, we have some of the best D-linemen in the country, I feel like. And every day, every time we go out to practice, they prepare me more and more and get me better. I can say it. It's always going to matter more when you hear it from him. Like, it, you just don't see you, you intellectually, you know this, because many of, of you played high school football. Or you went to high school, you went to your high school football games. You realize, like, you don't see dudes like Mason Smith and Ali Gay. You just don't see those guys out there running around. I mean, may, maybe once in a season, you'd run up on a guy like that that you'd, that you'd play against in college. Now that's every rep every day. So Will Campbell lauded Brad Davis. Here he is elaborating a bit more on the offensive line coach. You know, me and Coach Davis are very close and, you know, off the field, nice guy. But, you know, on the field, he's, he has the chip on his shoulder just like we do. He's going to push us all to be the best we can be, get the best out of us every single day. So the big takeaway from Will Campbell, aside from the fact that physically he is making that transition, and, and it is clear 
that he has made that transition physically without issue. And I, I would say about Louisiana produces a ton of skill guys, cornerbacks, receivers, running backs, defensive linemen. What Louisiana historically has not produced has been quarterbacks and offensive tackles, in large part because stylistically, what Louisiana high school football has been over years has been the has been you take the best athlete on the team and you put them at quarterback. That's changing some and has in the past, you know, half decade or so, as you're seeing Arch Manning and Walker Howard and Eli Holstein. I mean, you know the list, but you're starting to see that maybe turn a little bit. Advent of seven on sevens. It's an interesting test case. But usually about one a decade. It's Andrew Whitworth. It's Cam Robinson. About once a day, now it's Will Campbell, a five-star tackle that's ready to play day one as your starting left tackle. Um, Walker Howard, who is obviously very close to Will Campbell, they basically committed together and helped build this recruiting class and are going to be a, a huge part of this offense together. Here's Walker Howard talking about Will Campbell. I told you all, I mean, I'm not lying. He was he's the best player in the country, and I'm not lying. I mean, look at him. He walked in here. I mean, he, I mean, it just doesn't show in the field, though. I mean, in the, in, in the rooms, in everything he does, he is the first person to every meeting, every first person to every team lift. I mean, he, first one on the field. I mean, he shows it everywhere he goes. I mean, he's the best. He's a freak athlete. He dominates on the field, but he dominates everywhere else, and he's a great leader. And, like I said, he was going to start day one when he gets over here, and he's going to bring the expectations up, and I'm excited for him. I could have believed that Will Campbell would have played somewhere on the line, especially losing four starters. I don't know that I would have believed halfway through his first spring he would have already established himself as the left tackle. By the way, the way Walker Howard's talking about Will Campbell, you can understand why dudes love Walker Howard, why they want to run through the proverbial brick wall for that guy. Um, but Walker Howard's having his own transition, right? He's a guy that should be in his spring semester of his senior year. Instead, he's going through spring practice on a college football field with three players that are all more veteran than, than him at his position. Here's Walker Howard talking about that transition. Transition's been awesome. I mean, at first it was, it was kind of it was kind of rough at first. I hit a wall at first, first couple practices, and that's what all the coaches told me. I was going to hit a wall, and it's just all about how you bounce back. And I really feel like I've been really improving after every practice, and that's what it's all about. And, and I mean, the, transaction, the transition's been awesome. I mean, I've loved every second of it. I mean, it's, it's fun. You have to compete every single day, and that's what I came here to do, compete. So he hit that wall. And, and you'd rather, obviously, have that guy hit the wall in spring, get through it, so his, he's already stabilized when you get to fall camp. What about elaborating there? What has been the biggest adjustment? Definitely, like I said, first couple of practice kind of, kind of hit a brick wall at first, and I, I mean, like everyone and like the coaches told me, I was gonna hit a brick wall, and it's just all about how you bounce back, like I said earlier. But, um, but it's been fun. I mean, it really has. I mean, you're competing every single day. I mean, you got freak athletes like Mason Smith on the other side of the ball. I mean, it's fun. It's it gets fun. Now, spring game is coming up this weekend. You heard him talking about competing every day. There's obviously a battle in the quarterback room now. With context, remember, Jamie Howard, Walker's dad, came on this show several months back and said point blank on the record, like, they're okay if Walker redshirts. I mean, Jamie's a guy that played early in his career. He understands. Like, you just have a, a rare situation where you have a, a dad that played college football and had to play early and had to, to learn a lot of those lessons through adversity early. And I think they understand, I don't think Jamie said it, they understand that for Walker to be able to sit and grow physically to learn the game, have it slow down, that, that might benefit him. So they're not running away from that possibility, which is awesome. The other thing that Jamie said on this show months ago was even if Walker never takes a snap, LSU will be better because he's on the team. And Jamie's not the guy that ever like brag. I mean, he's not the, the dad that's going to brag about his kids. But that's just a very real sentiment about Walker Howard, the player, the leader, the, the locker room guy which is awesome that he's here. Um, here is Walker Howard, and he did kind of elaborate a bit here on the, the quarterback competition that's gone on among these four guys. I take advantage of every single, but just because when I t try to take as many mental reps as I can, just because Jaden's, I mean, Jaden's played for three years. Miles has been here for a while. Miles, is, Miles has a lot of experience, 
Nuss had a lot, a lot of experience last year too, a good bit. But um, I mean, I came in here with no experience, and those three guys, I mean, all had experience. And it's all about how I use it, and I, mean, I take advantage of it, or I try to. It, it's tough sometimes, but every single day, every single rep, I learn something new. I mean, that's what's awesome about having some older guys in front of you. Just you, you look at everything at a different perspective because I came in with not as much knowledge as any of these guys coming in, and, and that's the thing. I got to work harder than everybody else because they've been around, and that's what I've been doing. We'll get to see Walker Howard uh, in the spring game this Saturday. It'll be interesting to see just how much uh, he does play, how much he's able to go uh, in the spring game. So he's healthy. He had the, the leg injury that cost him a part of his senior year. But um, you know, he's out there running around every single day. Last one from Walker Howard. The, the guys asked him about um, uh, about Brian Kelly, and Brian Kelly's involvement coaching quarterbacks, even though that's Joe Sloan's position. Yeah, I mean, he's very involved, and um, it makes me fired up to have a head coach so involved with me and the quarterbacks. I mean, he corrects me after every single thing I do, and he's just always trying to make me improve. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for Coach Kelly always teaching me every after every rep. All right. Um, two guys that sound so much more mature than guys that are first-semester college freshmen that, that should be finishing up their high school, their final semester of high school. Uh, but are out there running around making plays on uh, on the football field already in this spring practice. Excited to see both of them. We fully expect Saturday spring game that Will Campbell's going to run out there with the first unit on offense and play left tackle, and we're going to get to see Walker Howard sling it a bit to some of these wide receivers. So it'll be fun to see the future on display now, Saturday in Tiger Stadium. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.